I most likely want to go into something, obviously a professional, I want to do a professional program afterwards, maybe law, medicine. I'm not sure about that yet, but um, I'm very interested in psychology and neuroscience. So I'm definitely doing that for my first four years of university. I went from a scientist to an astronaut. It was just a bunch of different things, but there was always something that kept coming back. And I thought, and as I, as starting in grade nine, I just had this huge fascination with the brain. And um, it started from there. And I, like, I, I changed it a bit from then. I started thinking about becoming a lawyer, but then it just kept coming back in my back, like the back of my head. I kept thinking, I kind of want to study psychology. I kind of want to study psychology. And then I realized, okay, I'm not, and I was still not really sure exactly what I want to do, but I said to myself, okay, if I'm going to try something, something I really want to try out that I can't do in high school is psychology. And that's where and I knew that that was something I was passionate about and something I was passionate to study. And that's why I chose it. So really you should just follow your passions. If you're passionate about something, go with, go with it. It doesn't have to be, um, it doesn't have to be sciences. It doesn't have to be mathematics, anything, art, uh, philosophy, religion, like just choose something that you enjoy and follow through with it. I have a friend in grade 12 and she, I was talking to her about scholarships and I was wondering, okay, what, how did you go about getting um, ideas of where to get scholarships from and stuff like that? So she introduced me to the website. So I applied, I started looking at different scholarships available and then um, I asked them to send me emails. So I've been getting surveys, different events and stuff like that. And I found it um, interesting because that's, it's a great way to earn some money to put towards university. So I just stuck with it. It's been since January, I think, that I started um, being part of student awards. One of the biggest things for me, I'm very passionate about education because I think education is really important. It's not so much the marks, not so much the career, but so much as in enlightening your mind. And I, there's things that I like about the education that I'm receiving, some things I dislike about the education I'm receiving. And I find it difficult sometimes to talk about it with people my own age because a lot of them, they're not very interested in that. Their mindset is, I want a good job. I need to get the marks. Um, so coming to this event, actually talking to professors about what I feel about education, how they feel about education and trying to work towards the common goal of improving education is, um, that experience alone is well worth me just signing up for student awards. It can't be compared to that. And the connections I've made today, I've talked to different professors who are, one of which is in psychology, and he actually gave me the email, his email to actually talk to him in the future. So the connections, the knowledge that I've gained talking to these people, it's, it's, uh, will be with me for the rest of my life. The student awards website is personalized, so I get I don't get re awards that aren't really related to me, um, and I get it specifically uh, for things that I'm actually interested in. So I do field hockey, I do sports, for example. So I have awards geared towards that. I wouldn't have awards geared towards arts because I'm not a very artsy individual. Um, it. The website's great because first it's personalized, that's the biggest thing. And also it's constantly updated and it's updated in terms of when the deadlines are for um, handing in uh, submissions. So it, tells, so it tells me, okay, this is when you need to hand this in by. I can click on it, read about it, and then um, know when I need to submit it or when the deadline's coming up so I can plan which ones I need to submit in first. So it's a, it's a very simple website, but a very effective website. So it's, it's great. My advice to people my age is if they're not sure what they want to do, don't think university, don't think just college. Think, only think about what m motivates you to learn, what makes you think, oh, this is something that I really am passionate about. This is something I really want to do. And sometimes you might find that no, not going to university is actually better for you. For example, if you really like cars, becoming a mechanic and going through an apprenticeship is much better than going through university. So you can't go into um, pl your planning process with the mindset, oh, I need to go to university or I need to go to college. And once again, just look at your passions. If you're passionate about something, then you'll know what you're truly passionate about and you, you can figure it out from there. And I guess also look at different websites. Go Google it, type in something that you're passionate about and usually something's gonna pop up telling you this is a career that you might be interested in.